Hello friends, uh, myself Professor Pandit Shinde, Department of Engineering Sciences from AICSMS IOT Engineering College, Pune. Uh, so dear friends, today we discuss about the uh, solution of exact differential equation of first order and first degree. Also the first, uh, which type of, when we say that any differential equation is exact differential equation. So let us move towards the topic directly. <clears throat> so now first exact differential equation. So we know the differential equation of the form m dx plus n dy is equal to zero. It's said to be exact if there exists some function u of x. There exists some function u of x such that m dx plus n dy equal to du. Du means the derivative of this function. Clear? Then we say that this is a exact differential equation. Means uh, by definition. We have to function such a function. The derivative of such a function is equal to the LHS of the differential equation. LHS of the differential equation because we know we wrote in short form is m dx plus n dy is equal to zero. So, we have to function such a function that we have to exist that the derivative is equal to the LHS of the given differential equation. So definitely you people say that's how to find out thing karna padega, derivative to lena padega, all these things. But there is some, <coughs> for some way, there is a condition of exactness. Condition of exactness. So hum log condition pe depend rahenge, they are, uh, condition check karenge, better way to find the such functions. So condition kya bol rahe pe, the necessary and sufficient condition of m dx plus n dy equal to zero be exact is, Daba m by daba y equal to daba n by daba x. So all of you know daba m by daba y is partial derivative of m with respect to y keeping x constant. Partial derivative of n with respect to x. So m and n kaha se milenge? m and n yaha se milenge. So if you want to solve the uh, differential equation using x that, so write down in the form first m dx plus n dy, then find out m, find out n, and then find out the derivative partial derivative of m with respect to y, partial derivative of n with respect to x. Then, if this two equals, then the given differential equation is exact differential equation. And once it is the exact differential equation, then how to find the solution? There are two ways. Anyway, if you will follow it. First, integration of m dx keeping y constant means m ka integration lena with respect to x, but at the time of integration, keep y constant plus uh, integration of n dy, but n does not means n not containing the term of x means term of n not containing x aise term lene n ke jisme x nahi aa raha hai aise term lenge yahan pe hum log jisme x nahi aa raha hai with respect to integration rate dy is equal to some constant clear if some people want nahi aapne m liya hame n lena hai so if you take n dy first integration of n dy keeping x constant integration of n dy keeping x constant and uh, take the integration of m but m not containing the y SA term waha pe aayenge the term of m not containing y only containing x the term here and with respect to dx m dx equal to c dono me se koon sa use karo either m but generally m log yehi use karte first wala okay so now uh, next hum aage jayenge if Rule two will I if n has no terms which is free from x. This may n may agar term may x aga. Koyasi term may is may single y. So definitely ye term ka integration zero ho jayega. What is remaining only m dx y constant is equal to c means integration of m dx. The first term ka integration aga if there is no any term present which containing only y. Okay, sorry, term may x r i. So definitely this integration of this term is become zero. And uh, this is the general solution of the differential equation. Now, one more thing. Sometimes the equation of the form. This is a non-homogeneous differential equation. Ye koin se type ka hai? Non-homogeneous differential equation. dy by dx, a1x plus b1y plus c1 upon a2x plus b2y plus c2. Ye exact hoga. Become exact if b1 equal to minus a2 or a2 equal to minus b1 and all of you know once it become exact then definitely keep in mind this b1 equal to minus a2 in non homogeneous and once become it is exact then uh, how to solve it all of you know either m dx 
integration of m dx y constants plus the term not containing x in n uh, integration with respect to y equal to c clear so this way we find out the solution so let us move towards the uh, differential equation and uh, sorry the question how to solve it but before moving i will tell you uh, if if you not uh, think uh, equation belongs to which other variable separable yeah homogeneous yeah reducible to variable separable so in such a cases directly try for the your exact differential equation clear so i am taking the first question question like this solve the following differential equation solve the following differential equation i am just not uh, mentioning there either x or else so like uh, differential equation because general case so first i am taking it is dy by dx is equal to is equal to 1 plus y square plus 3x square y upon 1 minus 2xy minus x cube so this is a differential equation again if you think about a variable separable form it is not homogeneous okay it is not in this uh, non exact uh, non homogeneous form mein bhi nahi hai but in non homogeneous hai but us form mein nahi hai jo humne upar dekha tha so in this how to simplify it first you want to write down in the form of m dx plus n dy so i'm cross multiply so 1 plus y square plus 3x square y dx माइनस जाएगा उधर हो माइनस एम राइट डायरेक्टली क्योंकि इक्वल टू साइन ओके इक्वल टू वन माइनस टू एक्स वाई माइनस एक्स क्यूब डी वाई सो इफ आई एम ट्रांसफरिंग इन एल एच एस सो दिस बिकम डी एक्स दिस बिकम माइनस ये वन माइनस टू एक्स वाई माइनस एक्स क्यूब डी वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो अगेन इफ यू टू इलिमिनेट दिस माइनस साइन सो इट्स वेरी गुड 1 plus y square plus 3x square y dx ये माइनस अगर यहाँ प्लस हो जाएगा माइनस कॉमन लिया तो इट बिकम्स x क्यू प्लस टू एक्स वाई माइनस वन डी वाई इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन नो आई एम कंपेरिंग दिस इक्वेशन विथ कंपेरिंग दिस इक्वेशन विथ एम डी एक्स प्लस एन डी वाई इक्वल टू जीरो सो नाउ टेल मी What is the value of m? So therefore, m is dx ka jo bhi coefficient hai. It is one plus y square plus three x square y. And m is all of you know. It is x cube plus two x y minus one. So for exactness condition, you want to find out the partial derivative of m with respect to y. So dabba m by dabba y. Derivative of one is zero. Derivative of y is two y. Derivative of 3x square, 3x square constant derivative of y is 1, so it is 2y plus 3x square. Similarly, find out d by n by d by x means differentiate n partially with respect to x. So x cube का आने वाला है 3x square plus यहाँ पे 2y is a constant derivative of x is a 1 and derivative of 1 is 0. So therefore, here uh, 3x square plus 2y. Now look at here. What happened here? D by m by d by y is equal to d by n by d by x. Correct. This condition is satisfied. So therefore, given differential equation. So that implies. Right. Right. Do next. So that implies the differential equation. One is exact differential equation. Here, once we exact differential equation, so go for the solution directly. So therefore, solution, solution is how to form the solution. Write the question directly. Here is a m dx y constant integration plus the term, the term of n not containing x. उसका इंटीग्रेशन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू डी वाई इज इक्वल टू समस्टेंट सो नाउ लुक एट यगेन आई एम टेकिंग डायरेक्टली दी देर फोर एम एम क्या है यहाँ पे वाई कॉन्स्टेंट वॉट इज वैल्यू ऑफ एम एम इज वन प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर वाई एम आई करेक्ट यस 
integration with respect to dx plus the term free from x free from x means look at here this term contain x nahi aayegi this term contain hai minus 1 only so there is only minus 1 dy is equal to constant now integration of y constant so integration of 1 dx is x y is constant so what is y square as it is integration of 1 dx is again x plus this 3y as it is integration of x square is x cube by 3 because 3 and y constant and minus integration of this y equal to c so this 3 3 gets cancel what is remaining here is x plus x y square plus x cube y minus y equal to c this is the final answer of this exact differential equation so this way we solve the exact differential equation i am taking one more example to understand it so question number 2 is the differential equation is given dy by dx is equal to y plus 1 upon here is y plus 2 e raised to y minus x this is in december 18 question paper upar wala jo bhi tha may 17 mein aaya tha Now this is the given question. So, first of all, write down in the form of dy by dx. So, I am doing this. Not dy by dx. Hum dx plus n dy ke form mein likhna hai. So, cross multiplication. Y plus one dx. Here, this minus will be minus again. Y plus two. I am writing down directly. Minus x dy equal to zero. If you want to change the minus sign, so change it. If you want to change it. y plus 1 dx clear here minus sign ka plus kiya to it is x plus ho jayega y plus 2 e raised to y minus ho jayega dy equal to 0 now check this is exact or not so how to check it compare with kisse compare karna hai m dx plus n dy equal to 0 se so therefore after comparing m is y plus 1 and n is what is n Yen all of you know. Yen is x x minus y plus two e raised to y. Now again, we simplify. Find out the uh, partial derivative by m by derivative by y. So y can be to one uh, one ka zero, and then derivative by n by derivative by x. How to find out it? The derivative of x is one. All contains y y, so derivative becomes zero. So look at here, the given differential equation is exact. So here, d by m by d by y is equal to d by n by d by x. So that implies the differential equation one is exact. And once become exact, then how to find the solution? So solution is. Now our solution me again. I am writing the formula m d x. y constant plus the term free from m free from x dy equal to constant c <clears throat> so now we know m m hame pata hai what is the value of m m is y plus 1 and dx plus the term free from x free from x means only y y plus 2 e raised to y dy equal to c. So in the I got integration. So therefore, integration of y is y square by sorry. This y plus 1 is a constant. This y plus 1 is constant here. So therefore, this y plus 1 as it is. Integration of 1 dx is x minus sign. I am taking outside. Here is a this integration write down like this. Y e raised to y. Integration dy plus two e raised to y dy clear or you solve directly also is equal to c so also use the u into v rule directly here uh, I am use the u into v rule directly here so therefore integration is ये हमारा आंसर आ गया y plus one x minus I am taking look at here the minus and हमने common लिया u and v So therefore, we know the generalized form. Uh, this u u as it is, means y plus two as it is. 
integration of e raised to y is e raised to y minus derivative of y plus 2 is 1 and integration of e raised to y is e raised to y derivative of 1 is 0 so stop here so simplify it we get final answer is y plus 1 x minus this y plus 2 e raised to y minus minus become plus e raised to y is equal to 0 so this is the solution of differential equation or exact differential equation and keep in mind if this condition not satisfied means daba m by daba y is not equal to daba n by daba x so it is a non-exact differential equation and if it is non-exact then how to reduce an exact we see in next video so thank you guys for watching my videos